Alabama guard Josh Primo has elected to remain in the NBA draft pool, ending his brief college career in Tuscaloosa. Primo told ESPN on Wednesday that he is foregoing his remaining eligibility ahead of the NCAA's July 7 deadline for prospects to either stay in the draft or return to school. Enrolling as a freshman at Alabama I had the idea of going for two years and really trying to go for the NBA then, Primo told ESPN. I told coach, Nate Oates that, but once I communicated with him during this draft process and showed him what I was doing on my side, he was really supportive about everything. It was a difficult decision in the beginning with everyone saying I could be a lottery pick, in 2022. Also on Wednesday evening, junior guard Jaden Shackelford told Stadium that he is entering the NCAA transfer portal while remaining in the NBA draft pool. Both Primo and Shackelford had declared for the NBA draft in April while retaining NCAA eligibility. Although Primo's rising stock in recent weeks made his return to Alabama unlikely, the program must now deal with the unexpected loss of two significant contributors from its backcourt last season. Without Primo and Shackelford, Alabama will still have a backcourt headlined by returning junior Javon Quinnelly and incoming five-star freshman J.D. Davison. There could be opportunities for more playing time for Namari Burnett, a transfer from Texas Tech, as well as senior Keon Ellis. But even with the additions of the talented Davison and Burnett, both McDonald's All-Americans, the situation has suddenly changed for Oates as he enters his third season in charge. What was two months ago a roster one scholarship heavy for the upcoming season now has a late scholarship opening. After winning the SEC last season, Oates' team must navigate a difficult non-conference schedule with fewer established players than it once was projected to have, and senior forward James Rojas unavailable because of knee surgery. If we get both of those guys back, I think we have a shot to be great, Oates said in May of Primo and Shackelford. If we get even one of them back, I think we have a pretty good shot. Primo entered the draft pool after his freshman season, hiring an NCAA-certified agent in order to retain eligibility while gathering feedback from NBA scouts. Those evaluations have been increasingly positive, with Primo's stock rising in recent weeks to where he is being discussed as a mid-to-late first-round pick. Going into this draft, it was a test the waters situation, but as time went on and I continued to get feedback, it became more real each and every day, he told ESPN. I'm ready to help a winning franchise. I talk to Coach Oates a lot. He wants what's best for me and is right behind me. The NBA draft will be held July 29th. Having turned 18 last December, Primo is expected to be the youngest player picked. We're all super happy for him, Oates said earlier Wednesday during a school-produced interview.